654, time for the morning sprint. We start with developing news. A vote on the debt ceiling narrowly avoiding an economic crisis. The bill is now on President Biden's desk, waiting to be signed after passing the Senate in a late night vote, 63 to 36. The measure suspends the debt limit through the start of 2025. Wisconsin senators were split on their support. Democrat Tammy Baldwin voting for it, Republican Ron Johnson against it. The president will speak to the nation on the bill in a primetime address scheduled for tonight. J.P. Morgan Chase closing a quarter of its First Republic bank branches. The government seized First Republic earlier this year. Then J.P. Morgan took it over. First Republic has 84 branches. It's unclear which branches will close, but J.P. Morgan Chase promised the affected employees will have job opportunities at other branches. If you value your life, get away from that building, and then an hour later, uh, you're in the building. So. New comments from a builder that gave an initial estimate for the partially collapsed building in Iowa. Despite multiple complaints, the building passed inspection. The number of those missing remains at three this morning. City authorities are still struggling to figure out how and when to demolish it. Yeah, we're still going to have some hot conditions today, probably near 90, 90 tomorrow too, maybe a little less humidity, Spot, spotty shower and thunderstorm, I think it's more for southwest Wisconsin, and then dry this weekend, but still a chance, and then much cooler as we get towards Monday and Tuesday, National Donut Day, I believe that's correct, right, we have National Donut Day, but anyway, you look at the temperatures right now, we're going to get back up into the mid-80s mid by this afternoon, I think the 2 to 4 p.m., and then 4 to 7 is when to look for those showers and thunderstorm chances, other than that. Future check doesn't show anything this morning. There's your upper 80s for high temperatures today. And as you look at the 10 day, a little less humid this weekend, still warm. But the next weekend, once that front comes through Monday, we get back in the mid to upper 70s, cooler conditions where we should be this time of year. All right, Greg, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Looking forward to that. Another news and weather update in 30 minutes.